typically if we're going to have a bailout situation, I will say bailout, bailout, bailout three times. If I only hear it twice, I'm staying in. Well, if you don't hear the third one, it's most likely because I'm already, it's more like bailout, bailout, bailout. <laughs> so, you, you, just, just know that as I, as I left the airplane, I said it. Hey, Patty, we're here. Hey, hi. Hey, you must be Brian. Yeah, I'm Brian with the Y, Patty. Brian with the Y, okay. Huge, huge fan. I have been watching you do air shows. In Oklahoma in 1986, I saw you do an air show. And I remember watching you. You remember a little kid in a red shirt uh, in the middle yeah. of the crowd? Oh, that definitely. was me. That was me. Totally. That was me. I'm, I totally remember you. Okay, yeah, yeah I remember you. Because you had the Brian with the Y. He was yeah. all embroidered on the shirt. My mom did that on all my clothes. Still does. <laughs> You're going to play with Spencer? That, yes, I am. Okay, and did you know that before you came? I mean, most of the time we don't tell people, you know, that Spencer's going to play. You know, we, we just say, you know, one of our professional instructors. And then we then we sort of throw Spencer out there at the last minute because, you know, Spencer. But just because, because you're special and you are flying with Spencer, I'm going to oh, give you a special. t-shirt. Give you one of our oh, cool. t-shirts. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Sorry, Spencer doesn't get it. Well, social distancing there rules. There you go. Yep. You can touch it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So, thank you. Give old uh, Spencer a call. Hello? Hey, Spencer, what's going on, man? Hey, I'm just sitting here working. Oh, yeah, 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 that's cool. So I, I wanted to call and uh, just uh, talk talk about a couple of things. Uh, uh, one thing I, I know I don't want to talk about is uh, continuity errors. Like, I don't know, let's just say I was wearing the shirt that Patty gave me, but I haven't gone to Florida yet. We wouldn't talk about something like that, would we? No, because that would be weird. Yeah, okay, so we're not going to bring up any of that. But the other thing is, uh, you know, last time I came down to Florida to visit you to do aerobatics, I mean, I, I hate to, you kind of you kind of chickened out, you didn't want to do it, and I think I kind of want to give you another shot. Okay, well, I really appreciate that, Brian. I mean, you're a hell of a guy, and I just, yeah, I mean, whatever. Okay, I was I was thinking now. Is now a good time for me to, to, to come down? You mean now, like, like today? Yeah, like there's a plane leaving in an hour and a half. I could get on it. Tickets are crazy expensive. Well, the more you spend, the better to get here faster, so do it. Outstanding. All right, I'm going to go buy my plane tickets. I'll see you in a couple hours. All right, dude, see you later. I'm looking forward to it. This will be fun, I promise. All right, later, dude. Bye. So I took off from Dallas-Fort Worth Airport again. And then here it is nighttime, uh, me landing in Jacksonville, Florida, and where now I'm going to go meet Spencer. We're going to uh, talk about tomorrow, and then we're going to do some aerobatics. How's it going? What's up again? <laughs> again. Feels like I was just here. I knew you'd be back. Huh? I knew you'd be back. Of course I'd be back. Is the weather going to suck tomorrow? No. Awesome. Better be. We arrived at the flight school and then we went to Patty's hangar to check out the airplanes. She's got a pretty typical setup with the same sort of airplanes that most of us probably have in our hangars. Spencer pre-flighted the plane and it was time to go. I started to get a little bit nervous, but I think I hit it pretty well. What's going on, Spencer? Hey, Brian. This is a beautiful day to fly. We can do so much aerobatics today. Uh, you know what? Actually, now that I think about it, is that a cloud? No. It's kind of cold. I don't think we can fly if it's this cold. Do you know how great it is to fly in an aerobatic airplane in cold weather? The air is so dense, the plane just tracks like a train on rails. Do you smell smoke? I smell smoke. No, no smoke. I think smoke. I smell smoke. Nothing. There is not a cloud in the sky. Yeah, but you know what? With the sun, sun shining out, it's going to get hot up there and it can damage your retina. You know, the sun uh, with the greenhouse effect of the canopy will balance the cold air. We could probably fly in just short sleeves. It's going to be so amazing. Yeah. Are you going to be able to get over these trees here? Uh, oh, these just, trees over here? I can take off and go straight up like in this airplane. I there's too many trees. I don't feel like we can fly today. Look, this guy's flying. Hey, look how much he's struggling. With the, he's going to hit the moon. He I, almost hit the moon. He did. But, you know, he missed it because it's so clear out. He can clearly see it. Uh, I left my flying shoes at the house, Spencer. You can fly barefoot. People I do it. You, can you know what? This It's not my flying hat. Sorry about that. I go back home to Texas and uh, get my flying hat. Mm -hmm. I'm, man, come on, Brian. Let's go fly. Let me get the plane. My back hurts. I don't think I can do this. Let's get you 
hooked up. So this is these parachutes use an Arab what they call an aerobatic harness. Okay. I'm really trying not. I know. <laughs> not to get too close to anything. I'm just making a lot of eye contact with the camera while you're I, down there. That's probably a. a you want to move that cable? Apps coming up and whacking you in the. Yeah. Anyway. All right. We can't fly with this attitude indicator off by uh, five degrees, Spencer. <laughs> uh, I think we're gonna have to scrub. Boost pump. Uh, what's that noise? That doesn't sound good. We should get out. It's it's clear prop. Shit's about to get real. Yeah. Too bad. All right, well, too uh, lean. Hold I'm on. hungry. Yeah, look at the time. Man, that was good. <laughs> I think I got all the shots I needed. Yeah, this was fun, man. I really enjoyed this. All right, so now if you want to go up and just do some aerobatics, and I'll just cut to us getting in the plane, and then us getting out of the plane now, and we're good. <laughs> Could be within the class down for below 400 feet. Notice the airman, the VOR is out of service. Uh, VOR is out of service. Unfortunately, we can't fly. Bird and wildlife activity in the vicinity of runways and taxiways. St. Augustine ground, uh, extra, Nair 11 Whiskey Mike, Southeast Arrow, Information Delta. We're going to make a northbound departure along the beach. Nair 11 Whiskey Mike, St. Augustine ground, runway 31, intersection departure, runway 20, taxi via left on Alpha, hold short runway 20. Do you, do you, uh, do you hear music? No. Yeah, me neither. That might be in your head. <laughs> hey, so this this thing up here has a G meter in it too. I'm seeing. Yeah, I'm not sure how well it works though. Well, it's vibrating and changing like crazy, so probably can't fly. No, we can fly. Too bad. No, we can. I'm uh, really upset about it though. I uh, I was hoping to get to do this. We're gonna do this. Always come back out here. We're doing. Really, that. really not a big deal. So don't feel bad. We're so doing. Don't this. feel bad at all, Spencer. We're so doing this. Yeah. It's just, uh, sometimes it's just not, not of the cards. We're doing Don't it. Don't get to fly it. We're going oh, flying. going to be able to. Upside oh. down. We're about to get uh, released to go. Hyper zero, zero, there's going to be an extra departing downfield prior to your arrival. Continue approach. There, it doesn't have to be. That. 4 3 zero, eight, zero, cleared. Um, short approach. Extra 911 Whiskey Mike Cessna on the go is going to be in right close traffic outside of the Cessna. Make a right turn northbound departure. Runway 31 from runway 20 intersection. Clear for takeoff. You Hold ready? I'm three, ready. One. We're going. Only short three, one. Good Ballet Lord. <laughs> oh my God, that's got some power. Wow. This is a light airplane. No runway three, one. You're touching ready it. for the fun part? Do it. Clear touch and go. And we're off. It's There's a thousand feet there. already, Brian. That's crazy. It's just, it flies just like the series. 641, expect to turn a downwind heading shortly. Oh man, it's beautiful out here. You don't have to, you, you don't, it doesn't have to be a surprise every time you do stuff. Are <laughs> uh, you ready to take the airplane? I am. Extra one, Whiskey Mike, turn left 20 degrees, flying northbound, traffic ahead, and to your left is a uh, Mooney on the shoreline. Turning left 20 degrees, looking for traffic, not a one Whiskey Mike. You got him? No. Ahead and to our left. Why did he have us turn left if the Mooney was to our left? Three, I don't know. Uh, runway 3, one clear, touch and go, fly, that's not All right, so my one request, my only request is going to be that you let me know before you do something. Of course. Okay. I always will. Okay, you got the airplane? I've got the airplane. Okay, put us in a climb. Okay. Oh, there you go. Okay, now, how much right rudder do you need to maintain a climb? As much as it takes. Okay, so I just don't want you to... Good answer, Brian. Um, take your feet off the rudder. Just roll your toes back. Okay. Now... Watch the nose, just roll your toes back off the rudder pedal. They're off. Okay, notice the nose starting to slide left? Yes, I can feel it too. Okay, now add just enough right rudder to straighten it out. A little more. There you go. That's how much rudder you need. And okay, we're coming up on 4,400 feet at 4,500 level out. Okay. You can lower the nose now. Let's go to level flight. I've got us at 42. Okay. Oh, well, that thing's off a little bit. Okay. Well, then you can't tell me to climb to an attitude with a bad altimeter. Well, you, you need to climb to the altitude by my altimeter, not yours. Okay. So this, okay, this looks straight and level as far as I can. Yeah. So uh, show me a turn. 90 degree heading change to the left. There you go. Nice. 
Nicely done. Brian with a Y. I'll have you know I'm a pilot. So so I keep hearing on YouTube. Okay. Now do a ninety degree heading change to the right, back on course. Okay. Same deal. You're just you're just getting to know the airplane a little bit. How's it feel? Uh feels great. It's incredibly touchy. Like I'm I'm kind of I know I knew it would be, but I'm I'm even a little blown away by like I'm not even moving this thing a, a eighth right. of an inch. So next we're gonna uh, work on stalls. Okay. So let's pull you see the throttle on your right on your left side? I do. Okay. Pull that back. Okay. A hold level attitude. Go ahead and pull it all the way back. I just want you to feel a stall. Just show me a show me a nice gentle stall. I think the power's back. All the way. Is it back all the way? Oh, pull it back all the way. It's as far back as I can pull it. Oh, that's all the way then. Okay. Now, now, now bring the nose up a little bit and just hold it there. Don't climb. Just hold the nose there. And I want you to just show me a very nice stall. You're flying the airplane. Okay. You're playing. All right. Uh, buff keep it. going. Keep going. Keep going. We're not stalled yet. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Look at that. Was oh, that a big deal? No. All right. Bring us back up to like 4,000 feet. Or 40. So here we are, level flight. Okay. Um, I'm going to put us in a nice 45 degree turn. Okay. Pull a little more power out. This is a. This is a. This is a turning stall, an accelerated stall. Look at that. Okay. Just keep it. We're still turning. Yeah. There's another stall. Are we spinning? Are we falling off into a spot? I have like no no rudder in right now. I'm just resting my feet on it. We're just stalling and turning. Oh, that's interesting. Right? Is that a big deal? No. No. Oh. There it is again. All right, let's add a little power and climb back up. Want me to show you an aileron roll? Show me an aileron roll. Okay. Let me, let me, uh, We're going to go left or right? We're going to go to the left. Okay. All right, this is real tough. I'm just going to pull the nose up. Okay. Stop and just roll the airplane. Okay. Super easy, right? It's interesting how fast that happened, and I know that wasn't full <laughs> either, but... Um, Here, I'm going to do another one. Watch this. Okay. Pull the nose up, yep. neutral stick, and just push in a little aileron. <laughs> right? Just, just like that. Oh, my God. So let's turn around, so I'm going to do a wing over. Okay. A nice, gentle... Oh, there's the moon. That's, that's pretty. Got a nice... That's like a lazy eight for those commercial pilots. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know what a wingover was. That's it. It's just more bank. Okay. Same thing a lazy eight, just more bank. That's how real men do it. All right. Should we try another aileron roll? Let's do another aileron we're, roll. We're going to go a little faster. So here, here's the slow speed one. Pull up, stop, and roll. That's, that's kind of nice, right? Okay. And that's just aileron. No rudder, no elevator. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to pull up, stop, full aileron. Holy sh**. <laughs> oh, did I do two? <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Sorry to cut it here. I have so much content from this trip that it's going to take me a few weeks to edit it all and I didn't want to have to wait three more weeks to start getting some uh, shots out from this uh, video. Uh, the next video, we're going to dive full into the aerobatics that Spencer and I did. Um, snap rolls, slow rolls, four-point turns, barrel rolls, hammerheads, uh, inverted flat spins, which is the most terrifying uh, thing I think I've ever done in a plane. Um, I've put a couple of clips of that that spin out on, um, I think, Instagram and a couple of other little places here and there, so you may have seen that. But uh, anyway, um, I'm going to try to get the rest of the video edited. It's going to be two more parts. One is going, going through the maneuvers. And then the other one is a game Spencer and I came up with, which was going to be called Snap Roll Trivia. Um, but after we learned how much I don't like snap rolls, um, it just became an inverted game of trivia where if I get the answer wrong, we stay inverted. If we get the answer right, uh, we flip. I don't like being inverted in a plane, it turns out. Uh, and so we decided to uh, make a trivia game out of that. So that'll be the, the third one. So three videos total. Anyway, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching this. I know this was a longer video. hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thanks to everyone who supports and likes and shares and subscribes, all that. Thank you to the Patreon supporters. Uh, having a blast. Um, I can't believe I get to do some of this stuff. 
Last but not least, a huge thank you to Spencer Suderman and Patty Wagstaff. Um, It's so, so great to know so many people in aviation. Patty, it was fantastic uh, to get to meet you. She's an amazing pilot and an amazing person. Uh, This this was so much fun. I'm very grateful that you guys um, allowed me to do this. And, uh, of course, thank you to Gold Seal for sponsoring my videos. Uh, And everybody, remember, fly smart. We are inverted flat spinning, my friend. I'm, I'm really unhappy. Click this link to see the most recent video upload. Click this link to see a video that YouTube thinks you might like. Click this link to subscribe to my channel.